Colombia is a beautiful country that is full of rich history and cultural traditions. When people first think about Colombia, they often associate coffee or Colombian music. But today we're going to be taking a look at a different side of Colombia. We're going to be taking a deep dive into the dark side and count down the top 10 scary Colombian urban legends. So get ready for this one. How's it going you guys? I'm your host for this one, Landon Dalitzing, and welcome back to another most amazing top 10 video. If you guys love urban legends, make sure you guys click right over here it's a whole playlist on urban legends videos and we're gonna overload you guys in these next coming days and weeks with urban legends and don't forget to hit the thumbs up on this video if you guys are loving all our scary content all right enough of all that let's jump right into this one let's jump right into what you guys clicked on and let's start off this list in at number 10 we have El Saban in this urban legend we have a very spoiled teenager one day he ordered his father to go hunting and bring him back a deer because he was craving deer hearts because people crave that uh, this is so gross. I don't know about you guys, but I usually crave things like McDonald's, I like the Big Mac, no onions. And I usually don't crave deer hearts. This is a little bit weird, but you know what? I'm not here to judge. So when the father returned home empty handed, the boy murdered his father in cold blood, removed his heart and liver, and gave it to his mother to cook. I mean, what the heck? This kid is savage. Once his mother realized that the strange meat was her dead husband, she punished him by whipping and throwing throwing hot pepper on the wounds and then she sent an angry dog after him to continue on with the punishment. So now El Saban, well he's described as a thin tall ghost who is known for his destructive whistling. He likes to carry a bag of bones from all of his victims and if you hear him whistling it means that it is too late and you are his next target. I guess I'm going to be carrying around a whip and hot pepper sauce if I'm ever in a Colombian forest you know to protect myself. El Hombre Buffeo swims onto our list at number 9. This next urban legend is a little bit weird and it might make you want to avoid dolphins in the near future. I mean these cute little creatures. Well have you guys ever seen the pink dolphin? This is a legend about a handsome warrior who was condemned to become a pink dolphin by the gods. They were extremely jealous of his good looks and they thought this was a good way to get rid of the competition. But with every curse there is always some sort of upside. The warrior also was given the ability to convert into a man when he comes out of the water and onto the land, but he had to wear a hat to cover up his blowhole. Seems legit to me. So anyways, this man goes around town, lures unsuspected women, and impregnates them. The next day, they have no recollection of what happened, and within a few weeks they discover that they are pregnant. I guess this happens to a lot of women in Colombia because many children who are born without a known father actually have dolphin men registered as their father on official government records. I mean, that is just the weirdest thing ever. La Madre Monte, or otherwise known as Mother Mountain, climbs onto this list at number 8. Sounds peaceful, right? Well, you're wrong. She lives in the jungle and bathes in the river. But when she does, she causes flooding and heavy storms to nearby villages and cities. Madre Monte will haunt people who steal land and she will curse them so that they don't have a successful harvest. She also hates unfaithful spouses, beggars, and troublesome people. So she punishes them by placing a lot of objects in their way when they walk through the jungle. They will eventually fall asleep from all the physical exertions, but they won't wake up. So basically, if you're good and a decent human being, she won't bother you. But if you annoy her, prepare to face the consequences. Things get heated up in at number 7 with La Bola de Fuego. This urban legend is about a 2 meter ball of fire that rapidly rolls around on dark nights and it carries the spirit of a cursed insane woman. This woman was very quick tempered, evil and an extremely jealous wife. One day her husband asked her to do a long list of time consuming and strenuous chores that she would probably take all day doing. So she became enraged and lost control. She stormed into the house, heard her son crying in his crib and decided to decapitate him. Is this real life right now? After she realized what she had done, she went completely insane and she was cursed by the spirits of the hills and she exploded into a ball of fire which was forced to roam around the area in search of her son Juan. Some people say that when you see the Bola de Fuego, they can see an ugly woman with the headless body of a baby in one of her arms and an axe in her other. And you're never supposed to say the name Juan because if you do, you could probably bet that this 2 meter ball of fire will hunt you down. Jumping into number 6 
is El Hombre Cayman. Translated to English, El Hombre Cayman means alligator man. He had a really unhealthy obsession with watching women as they bathe in the river. So he decided to visit a sorcerer who prepared a potion that was temporarily converted him into an alligator so that the women bathing in the river wouldn't be suspicious or feel like they were being watched. The sorcerer prepared two potions, one that would turn him into an alligator and another one that would turn him back into a man. Well one thing led to another as he was transformed into an alligator, the other potion broke and spilled. So now he has a body of an alligator and a human head. And since then, women were horrified and too scared to bathe in the river. But now it is believed that El Hombre Cayman returns every St. Sebastian's Day to hunt for victims. La Llorona brings us to number 5. According to this legend, she used to be a poor peasant girl who fell in love with a rich nobleman. Their relationship was hidden from the rest of the world and they ended up having several children together. When the girl asked the nobleman to get married, he refused because their children were born out of wedlock. So in a desperate attempt to be with the man that she loved, the girl drowned her children in the river. When she told the nobleman what she had done, she still refused to be with her. The girl was full of grief and desperation, so she actually went back to the river and drowned. But because of her crime, she was cursed to roam the rivers looking for children for all eternity. So it is believed that the weeping women wanders the river beds at night looking for children to take them away. And it is believed that she is an omen of death to those who see or hear her. So yeah, don't be lurking around rivers at nighttime in Colombia. Latunda breaks onto this list at number Four. If you explore the Colombian jungles, you might come across a woman with a wooden leg. Well, if you see that, make sure you guys be aware. I would just turn around. She is capable of shape shifting into someone that you know so that she can lure you further into the jungle. And once you're in her mercy, she will feed you shrimp that she has prepared especially just for you. Okay, that doesn't sound so awful, does it? Well, I mean, I'd rather prefer chicken, but I'll take the free shrimp any day. Well, while you're eating, she hypnotizes you so that she can do whatever she wants. She mostly likes to suck on all of your blood or devour you like a wild animal. So yeah, I guess it's better to avoid her at all costs, regardless of the free shrimp, because maybe it's not worth it. Snapping number three is El Mohan. Let's travel to the depth of the Amazon rainforest where you might find El Mohan. He is an extremely hairy creature with long claws that is capable of shape shifting and he likes to abduct young girls to have his way with them. Oh, and sometimes he has really red eyes and gold teeth. He also enjoys capsizing boats in order to steal their bait and fishing equipment. And is it just me or does the Amazon River sound like the scariest place on earth? It literally has anacondas, piranhas, sharks, tarantulas, now this scary creature. I don't think I'm going to be visiting the Amazon rainforest anytime soon. El Apolo Malegno makes its way onto this list at number 2. So this translates to the evil chicken. And I know this doesn't sound that scary. But trust me, you don't want your chicken to be evil. This urban legend is pretty intense. The evil chicken is an extremely mischievous creature that looks like a typical bird, except th this thing is huge. It will use some sort of whistling trick in order to attract people to their hunting grounds. Once their unsuspected victims is in sight, the evil chicken will devour them whole. According to this urban legend, the only way to get rid of this chicken is to pray to St. Miguel nine times. Or you know, you can avoid any whistling sounds in the near future. If you hear a whistling, go the opposite way. El Barraro bites its way into this list at number one. This ugly creature has backwards feet that are used to confuse its prey. He is extremely tall, has pale skin, but is covered with black fur. He has large ears, red eyes, and huge fangs. This definitely doesn't sound like a creature that I would want to run into. So basically, El Barraro will use two ways to kill his victims. First, he will use his urine, which acts like a lethal poison. And secondly, if he manages to catch you, he will use his arms to squeeze your body into a pulp and then he'll drink you through a small hole that he makes in his victim's head. But luckily for us, he has no joints in his knees. So if you can somehow make him fall down, you have a good chance to get away because he can't get up. Well, there you guys have it. You made it to the end of this video. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next Most Amazing Top 10 video.